How's it going? Brian Donald here. Welcome back to another video. So two days ago, I made this video that you saw at the introduction. Unfortunately, the song that I used on TikTok and Reels didn't play in the intro to the video because then I get called for copyright on YouTube. But if you want to look up the song that matches to that video, it's called The Magic Bomb. And basically I made this video of me tapping on the mirror and the reflection of me would change as if I'm like in a video game, skipping through my different outfits and then finding what I like, then going, oh, maybe I'll try on a new one, tap the mirror. And it's kind of a really satisfying video. It's really satisfying with the sound of the pop that's in the song. So I'd say go to my Instagram, Explore Create Capture or TikTok also Explore Create Capture and watch it with the sound that it goes with and it'll sound even better. But I did put some pops in at the start, but it's not as good as the original. So go look at the original if you want to see what the final product actually looked like with the music attached. But anyway, what we're going to do today, I'm going to show you exactly how to make a video like this for yourself. It's really easy to do. Out of all my videos I've put up so far, I don't think, I think only one, this one here was the only one to get more tutorial requests from the comment section. So here it is, here's your tutorial. Let's get to it. And by the way, I know I haven't uploaded a video in ages, not even that long, probably a month. I was away on holidays in Greece, uh, kind of touring around the place, did a shoot or two in a different place. And hopefully what I'm gonna do soon, I've taken clips of like loads of different places around Greece, and I'm gonna try and combine them into a cool cinematic video. Maybe I'll break it down into one or two like sort of vlog parts and then a really cinematic part to end with. And I think that cinematic video will look really cool. And really looking forward to editing it, getting some cool transitions. Maybe it'll inspire you guys to come up with some ideas for your own videos, or I think it'll just be really nice to watch. And last thing before we start, make sure to tap subscribe because I really appreciate the support you guys give me. So let's get into it. So first things first, you need to get a setup. Now you need a tripod to put your phone on or your camera and make sure it's filming in vertical mode as opposed to horizontal because you're filming for TikTok or Reels. If you're making for YouTube, obviously, film horizontal. You will need a big mirror. I assume you can do the trick with a small mirror on the wall, but if you wanted to have a full body change, you need a big mirror. I suppose you could use a small mirror, like a bathroom mirror, and then only change your top, but I don't think that'll look as effective. So if you have a big mirror or a mirror on a wall or something like that, try set up your camera pointing at that and make sure you can see your whole body on the left and your whole body in the reflection in the mirror. Now, you wanna make a little spot on the mirror. I use mine just making a bit of I had this like chalk thing on my finger and I just made a little blur, a little, not a little blur, a little blotch on the mirror of where I'm gonna tap the mirror every time because for this trick to work, you have to tap on the mirror in the same spot every single time. Now all you have to do for filming, try on your first outfit, like show off yourself, see what you're looking like in the mirror, then tap on the mirror five times on your spot. Then all you have to do, change clothes into a whole new kit, start with your finger on the mirror, lift it off, act like you're modeling your clothes or whatever, then tap on the mirror five times again. Do this with as many sets of clothes as you want. I did six sets of clothes and rotated them around, but you can use as many sets of clothes as you want, obviously. Also the settings for filming on my phone or my camera, I just filmed in 30 frames per second and I made sure my exposure didn't change the whole time. If your exposure or your ISO is on auto or your like aperture is constantly changing, it means when you walk up in a different outfit, let's say you're wearing a white t-shirt, that reflects the light loads. So when your camera looks at you in a white t-shirt, it naturally dims itself down a bit, makes the room darker because your t-shirt's so bright, but then you might come in in a black t-shirt which doesn't reflect the light as well and then your camera will adjust for this by making everything brighter. Now, when you go to edit it afterwards, all the colors might be different. They might be all different shades and the ones with white t-shirts will be darker, the ones with black t-shirts will be brighter and then you'll have to match up the walls behind to make sure they're the same shade. I don't know if this makes perfect sense, but basically have your ISO aperture exposure on phones, have that set to the same level the whole time. You can do this on a mobile phone by tap and holding on the screen and then just pressing record and leaving it recording. So once you have that filmed, you just get straight into editing. Now I edit everything in Premiere Pro because I think Premiere Pro is the best editing software around. So I'm just gonna show you how to edit the first five together and then it's the same method over and over. So you wanna choose your clip of you just modeling it up and then as soon as you hit the mirror, cut the clip there. Then go to one of your other clips, grab a short clip of you tapping the mirror and cut it at the point where your finger touches the mirror, it goes off the mirror and then touches the mirror again. So you wanna make a cut at the moment you start with your finger on the mirror, then lift off and then make another cut on the moment when your finger touches the mirror again. Do this with four other clips of four different sets of clothes. Now you just wanna line them up side by side after the original clip. Now drag the rest of the original clip above these five clips and now all you do, you tap on this clip and you scroll down to opacity and find this mask tool. Draw a mask by tapping on the screen to make points around your body on the left and make sure to go really close to where your finger is touching the mirror and then go up around the ceiling. So now as you can see, the left side of the video has been kept still while the right side of the video is flicking between the other videos behind. So the left side is still you in your original costume, 
or dress or whatever you call it, not costume, but the right side is like tapping through as you can see here. And then if there was, if you forgot to, you know, keep your exposure ISO steady, drag Lumetri Color, search in the effects section for Lumetri Color, drag and drop this onto your clip and then you can go down to basic adjustments and change your exposure, change your shadows, change your whites and blacks to match the previous clip. Then straight after this, you just place a whole new clip of you modeling your next set of clothes. Start with a cut where your finger starts in the mirror and lifts off the mirror, model it up and then He's going to tap on the screen five times and you do the exact same process as we just discussed there. Do that again and again, match it up with the music. I would recommend using the music that you'll see on my reels or on my TikTok. You can go to my TikTok section or my reels section, tap on the audio and then save the music to post for yourself if you want to do a video like this. But yeah, hope you enjoyed. Hope this uh, was helpful. A lot of people wanted tutorials, so hopefully, hopefully you guys will try a video like this and maybe come up with your own twist or try the same. The same seems to work pretty well, but if you come up with something really new, I'd love to see it. So uh, tag me if you post anything like this or you post the video. I always like checking out your works. So if you want any other video ideas, as I've said before, just keep recommending them to me. I pretty much make a tutorial every time uh, a good few people ask me to make one. So yeah, I'll have that video of Greece ready for you hopefully soon. It's gonna be a really cool, really cinematic video. I hope it's gonna be cool anyway. Hopefully you guys will <laughs> think it's kind of cool and subscribe before you leave. So after you give that thumbs up, um. I will see you in the next video.